Tazal here from Cormorant Roasters. We've had quite a few requests from customers to do an unboxing of the Cormorant Roaster. So today I'm going to take you through the process of what's included inside the box and how to put it together. We're going to start by taking the straps off. Take a scanning blade. should have two boxes. One cont contains your legs and handles and the other one contains uh, the door weight in the trier. Then you get the ducting. This is your stirring spoon and your cleaning brush. Um, inside here is also a spare thermocouple couple for the burner. Your power supply. Another little piece of polystyrene on the side here, and another piece on the side. Just take that out before you pull the roast out. Next, you have your your hopper and your bowl. And for our European customers, we also pack a gas hose. Okay, so for getting the actual roaster out, just to make it a little bit easier, um, take the side panels out, the two short ones first, and then the small ones. Now you can pull the bars that hold the motor and under the door lip and just give it a lift. Okay. So firstly you've got your power supply. Now inside your power supply you have three Allen keys and a thumb bolt. The three Allen keys are an M3, an M4 and an M5. And then your thumb bolt is for your ducting. Then you have your ducting, which has a sticker on each side. You can just take those off. Then you've got your cleaning brush and your stirring spoon. And then you have a burner replacement thermocouple, so this is a spare part. You've got your bowl, your hopper, and obviously your gas hose. Then in your two boxes, This one contains your handles, so it's the roaster tilting handle at the top. And then inside you'll have your trier and your door weight. The other box contains your legs. And now you are ready to put your roaster together. So I just take these little bottles off. They're just for packaging and the light. There we go. All right. So I, I lay a towel down just so that it doesn't get damaged. I mean, it's still got a sticker on this side, but I just like to be sure. So there is a travel vault just behind the regulator. 
um, it's painted black, you're going to remove that. That's so that you have the tilting function. So you just want to check a couple of things, just make sure that the gas looks alright. You can watch our gas video um, just to show you where the gas jet is supposed to be, how to check the leaks, how to connect the gas correctly. Okay, so the legs just screw on nice and straightforward. And where the gas connects to, the gas hose connects to, um, we just put a little cover and some insulation tape. You can just gently cut that off. Oops. There we go. Make sure it's nice and clean. Okay, when you put it back up, just make sure you hold it back because, of course, now it has movement. Just support it a bit. Oh, you can lift it now. You can take these travel protectors out. You can also take off the handle covers. Okay. Now you can put your handles on. This is your door weight that just screws on. Your trier. goes on the back, the screws are already in there. Okay, now we give it a just a light clean from the trip. Um, we use this SC1 spray, it's a silicone based spray, and it just puts a light film all over it that's very, very easy to clean. So even if it gets dirty, you just wipe it with a cloth and it's You've got your bowl that goes on like that. The hopper should just slide in like that. Okay, now we're going to attach the ducting. Just turn up there. Okay, so these are M3s. You receive an M3 Allen key in your toolkit, plus the thumb bolt for the ducting. So just loosen those. There are a couple of travel stickers just to protect the roaster chaff chamber. You can take that sticker off and the sides. Okay, so your ducting will clip in like that. You just pop your M5 thumb bolt. There we go, and you can tighten this side as well. 
just to stop any smoke escaping when you roast. Also, the legs are adjustable, so if the counter's not 100% flat, it's not a big deal. You can just unscrew them a little bit out. So this is the electric motor. This is the plug attachment for it. This is where you're going to connect your gas hose. This is the 12 volt uh, power supply where you plug it in. And for people that get a fidget, this one doesn't have a fidget, but for people that get a fidget and want to plug in the USB, um, the other side of the plug goes on this side. Thanks for watching the unboxing video. Our next video will be covering um, the setting up for your first roast. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the like button, hit the notification button.